On the internet, people can be whoever they want to be. Scammers know this. They're masters at it. They say fame has a price. In this series, we explore the costs of celebrity in the copy-paste age. This is the world of Famous and Catfished. On today's episode of Famous and Catfished, we spoke to Alessandro Cinquini. He's well known on Instagram for his posts on social media showing off all the traveling he's done over the years working for Carnival Cruise as a first officer. He started his sailing career at 19 years old following his brother's footsteps. His first year of being a cruise ship member, he fell in love with fitness to help with his endurance while working around the cruise ship. He's also a fitness trainer and photographer. When Alessandro isn't working on his physique, he's traveling all across the world on a floating city. Alessandro isn't just well known on social media because romance scammers are frequently using his photos to seduce women out of their money. Alessandro receives thousands of messages a year from women who claim they were scammed by someone using his likeness. We appreciate all the support, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and let's get into it. So Alex, yeah, nice to meet you. You work out quite a bit, you have a, a, a nice size Instagram account, and you're contacted all the time you know, from people who think they're talking to you online. Yeah. yeah. So, so practically, practically, I believe I receive like five to ten messages from people that they actually realize that they're getting scammed from people using my photos. Wow, five to ten messages per day from people who have been in contact with one of Alessandro's fake profiles. This guy is famous in the catfishing world. Imagine waking up every morning to angry men and women claiming that you scammed them out of thousands of dollars. We estimate scammers are bringing in around $1.4 million using Alessandro's photos. What do you think social media sites can do to help bring this to a stop? Let us know in the comment section below. Did this start around the same time your Instagram account started blowing up or when did this start for you? It started when I was about with 10,000 followers or so. Uh -huh. And you know, all those fake accounts start popping out. And literally the last three to four months have been like uh, 10 accounts coming out every day. You know, once in a while I try to report these accounts. And I have to say a huge thank you to Scam Airs United. They do an amazing job of what, they, what they've been done so far. They've been helping me, you know, recovering my account because the scammers, they actually tried to take down my account on Instagram, blocked me for like a couple of days, and Scammers United asked me out to take it back. But if it was not for them, maybe I would not have my Instagram account anymore, and you know, and maybe the scammers could, could, could take advantage of it, you know. And, and why do you think that you, you've been a target, like your pictures? You think it's because the industry you're in and, and how fit you are? It's very easy maybe to create story about people wearing uniform. Uh, I believe also the physique because they can use the picture like, hey, I'm in the gym. You know what they're doing is they're taking my stories. Like whatever I'm in the gym, I take a gym selfie or stuff. Right. They take that screenshot that then is going to disappear. And they, they're using like after maybe a week. So right. it's just like something I didn't post. It looks like something new. And they're usually like, hey, baby, I'm in the gym, look at me. Right. So this is quite crazy, you know, this is quite impressive. The, the work is behind those cameras is unbelievable, man. The story behind the, each kind, the, any of these, let's say, relations are quite crazy. Yeah. So sometimes they use my photo to emulate like a soldier is trapped in war in Iraq, uh, Afghanistan or something, and people believe this. Scammers use all kinds of stories to capture the hearts of their victims. The fake soldier story is the oldest one in the book. We believe scammers use men in uniforms to scam women because it increases the victim's sympathy, interest, and the hook is planted quicker and more solidly. Everyone wants to help a serviceman. So uh, recently I have a girl, you know, I'm checking on my DM once in a while, but I can because I, I don't even know what to do. I already told you when you get like 20 to 25 messages a day that they're telling, hey, Alex, how are you? Blah, blah, stuff like that. But last time I saw a DM like I'm desperate. I need to talk to you. I've been talking to a fake you for five months. And I was like, 
man, I, I probably never been talking for five months in my real life to a woman. <laughs> so beside my mom and some couple of friends that I have, you right. know, I'm a really lonely person because of my life and stuff. But I never been talking in the last maybe five years for five months with a girl and the fake me is doing that. So that's pretty crazy, you know. When you've talked to some of these women um, that have reached out to you, um, you had mentioned that they don't always believe that you're telling them the truth. What, what are some of those stories? So, so the, one of the crazy story was when I got attacked that I was a scammer too. So one lady was not believing me. I remember back in the days. So this was one of the main reasons I, I, I would say, I, man, I'm going to stop talking to these people because there is actually nothing I can do to let them understand that it's not me it's scamming people, but it's somebody else using my photos. You said you've had people actually contact your employer telling your employer that you've promised them money or cruises. Has this almost impacted your job? So thanks God, I work for a very responsible company, which is believing in uh, his employee like uh, myself. So I work for Caribou Cruise Line and they have a security, let's say on board, and they have a security department ashore. So uh, my job has never been impacted by those kinds of things. But what I'm scared about is that in the future, if something really big can happen or will happen, my visa or the U.S. authority might take some kind of action. You know, you never know because I, I bank Italian. I work under a visa right. for an American company. So, you know, we need to protect ourselves in the best way we can. And sometimes you can even think that things like that can happen. When people f come across your images and they find out who you really are, like, how would you prefer that they deal with that? Do you prefer that they send you messages or because you can't get to everybody? Do you just prefer they just report the fake profiles? What do you prefer happen? I personally appreciate when they send me messages by giving me a short brief description of what happened. Uh -huh. And personally, I, I try sometimes to respond to them when they make sense. Right. When they are like something that I would answer, I, I will answer and say whatever I'm thinking. Yeah. And I believe the best thing is to make, to send me an email also, to let me know by, you know, what happened. But just feel free to message me if they want to. I don't have any problem. If I can, I will reply. If I see the messages, I will reply. And I'm here, you know, social media here for connecting the world in this new way, which is actually very effective. Uh, I believe that first of all, I should thank you for giving me the opportunity to get in contact with you guys, which are specialized in this kind of situation. So a big thank you. And the only thing that I would like people to be a little bit more, you know, reserved in giving information to others and try, you know, to really understand if they are talking to the person they're believing to talk to to ask maybe some proof but man when you get to the point to ask proof you should ask yourself hey there's something that doesn't work here right so from my side i believe we've been talking for a while we've been touching some very hot topics and once again thank you for giving me the opportunity and uh thank you for everybody that will be watching this video for understanding and you know they can even help us by resharing this, making social catfish more, you know, known by people that those stories are real, that catfishing is something that exists for real, Absolutely. and you might be the next victim, you might be the next target. So always, you know, double check what your actions are on social media and stuff. And before giving money or stuff like that, just be sure that the money are going to the person you believe you're sending to. So. Well, Alex, it was awesome talking to you. You're such a cool dude. Um, thanks for the time and we'll be in touch. So, um, but you have a good night and, uh, and talk to you later. Thank you, man. Yeah, all right. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.